What's up guys? This is going to be another Android Studio beginner tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to how to navigate to different screens using button clicks. So I'm going to write code so that when you click a button, it will navigate you to a second screen or otherwise known as a second activity. So we have an activity open here and we have a button that says go to second screen and when I click this button, it's going to take us to another activity or another screen. So we click on that and you can see a different activity opens up with a new button now that says go to first screen. And this button is now going to take us back to the first screen, the original one. So we can click on that and we can see we get taken back to our first screen. So we'll start a new project. We'll name our project uh, Switch Screens. Hit enter, hit enter, click empty activity, that's fine. And then let Android build your project. Okay, let's start out by doing our layout files. So if you don't know where the layout file, it should be open already. It's up here, activity main. But if it's not, go into your res folder, go into layout and open activity main. And we'll go to the text tab and delete this hello world, world text. Then we'll go back to the design tab and let's throw in a button. And this button is what we're going to click to navigate to our second screen. Okay, so we got our button in there. Now let's give our button a name. All right, so I'm going to call this button, button go to second screen. Usually I don't, I wouldn't put such a long name or I just like, that's very descriptive, but I want you to really understand uh, which button is going to be for which. So now I think that's pretty obvious that this button is the one that's going to navigate you to the second screen. And if we use wrap content, that's fine. Now let's go down here and put some text into our button. So we'll just type go to second screen. And that should be good for this button. Let's go over to the text tab and take a look. You can see our buttons in there and the ID is button go to second screen. Cool. So now we're going to have to build a second layout for the second screen. So we'll go over to layout, right click on it, go to new layout resource file and we'll give it a name. I'm just going to call it second screen layout and let's make it a relative layout. Oh, I clicked enter. Okay, we'll go back to the text tab and change this to relative layout. Now we're back to the design tab and just like the previous layout, we're going to drag a button in and this button is going to be responsible for navigating us back to the first screen. So the ID that I'll give it is button go was it button go first screen because in our other layout activity main oh it's go to second screen so I'll call it go to first screen so go to first screen and wrap contents fine and this and we'll put some text in the button and the text will say go to first screen oh, why isn't the text updating that's weird there we go oh, okay and we'll go back to the text tab and we can see there's our button and the ID is go to first screen so that looks good now we can actually start writing some code. We're going to have to create a second Java class to host this second screen layout. So we can see in main activity, we have in the onCreate method, we have set content view r.layout.activity main. It's setting its layout file to activity main. So we need to do the same thing, but set the layout file to second screen layout. So we'll go over here, right click, go to new Java class, just call it second screen, hit enter extend app compat activity. So in case you didn't see how I did that, just type extend, type capital A, and you can see app compact activity comes up. Now we need to insert the onCreate method. To do that, we can either hit control O, or we can press alt insert, and we can generate override methods. Since it's an override method, we click in here, start typing onCreate, and then we can see there's our onCreate method. So we just stick that in there, and then we wanna set our content view. So set content view r.layout.second screen layout and that's all. And anytime you add a second activity to your project, you always have to add it in the manifest. So we have to go to the manifest file and we can see here's the activity for main activity. You can see the activity tag start here and the activity tag end there. We need to add another one for our new activity. So there's second screen, click enter, do a uh, what is it greater than or less than sign, this one right here, and it will close your activity. If you don't add this to your manifest, anytime you navigate to the second screen, your app will crash. Or it might even just crash right when you start to run it. So we're done in the manifest, we can close it. And let's go to activity main and start writing code. First thing as always is get your log. So just type log t, press enter. And then let's go down to the onCreate method. And let's just write a log, letting us know that onCreate is starting. And then let's create our button. Oh, we need to import our button library. So we can see Android Studio is telling us to do that. We need to click Alt Enter and it will import our button library up here automatically. Uh, button nav to second. Kind of a long name, but I just want to emphasize that the, the ID doesn't have to match what the object name is. So then we do find my ID, r.id.button go to second screen. So 
So that's what I was just talking about. I wanted to, to show you that this name does not have to match this name. This is just the ID that refers to where the button is stored in memory. It's how the activity references the button in the, in the uh, layout file. So we can see that in the layout file, the button's ID is go to second screen. So that's what we reference here. Now, just like in my uh, buttons tutorial that I made, we're gonna attach an onclick listener to this button. So we just type the button, do dot set, and you can see set onclick listeners there. Do new, capital O, and we can see onclick listener pops up. Just click enter, enter on that, and let's log it, why not? We'll just do clicked button nav to second. And now we need to create an object that's gonna navigate us to our second screen. And we're gonna use an intent for that. So we create, create a new intent, go intent, we'll just call it intent, press alt enter to import the intent library, equals new intent. What you need to put in the fir for the first parameter is your current context. In this case, it's main activity dot this. And then you wanna put the activity that you wanna to navigate to. So we're going to second screen dot class. And that's it. Then to execute the intent or execute the activity, we go start activity, and then we can see that it takes an intent, and we just pass intent, and that's it. This will navigate us to our second screen. So let's go to the second screen and do the exact same thing, but navigate back to main activity. So create our log, go down to the onCreate method, do a log, say starting, then create your button. Button nav, what did I call the first one? Button nav to second, so we'll say button nav to first equals new button find view by id r dot id dot button goes first then we attach a on click listener to our button set on click listener new on click listener let's just log it say clicked the button then create an intent just like last time new intent Going to be sec this time we're coming from second screen dot this and we're going to main activity dot class and then we just need to start our intent and we're done okay let's uh, test the app okay it looks like the app's running let's go to the Android monitor down here so we can watch the log and we can see it started we see on create starting right there and let's go to the second screen and we can see it navigates us to a second screen where we have our other button. And let's make sure the log is all good. So main activity, there's the on click. Click to button nav to second. And now you can see second screen, the on create is starting. So let's test it and try and go back to main activity. And it navigates us successfully back to main activity. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful and you now see how you can navigate between activities in your Android apps. If you want notifications when new tutorials are posted, follow me on Twitter. I post everything to Twitter, so that's the best place to get them. If it was helpful, leave a like below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.